Hi, I'm Lois from Nancy's Notions, and today I'm going to show you how to use the 6-in-1 Stick and Stitch Guide. It's very useful. You can use it for straight line, you can use it for curved lines, and for as a guide on either side of a piece of fabric. With this guide, you'll confidently stitch straight or curved lines, such as a straight stitching, quilt strips, outer curves, inner curves, top stitching along the right side, and top stitching along the left side. You get the two pieces in their curved and straight edges, and you also get a little template with markings on it so you can set them up in the right spot. To use this, if you're going to have a 5 8 seam allowance, I find that line and you notice there's a hole right here. I'm going to put it on the machine and I'm going to turn my flywheel so that the needle is in the center of that hole. And I'll put my presser foot down to hold it. Then I will take my guides and there's a, a, a plastic strip on the back side of the sticky surface and now I can just stitch that Set that down so it's right against my template. Take my flywheel, take it back out of the plastic and remove it, and now I have my 5H seam allowance. If you want a longer area for guiding the seam, you'll notice the other half has a little lip and it actually snaps, they snap together, so you have that perfect 5H seam now and it's much longer. If I want that perfect quarter inch seam for quilts, I will now refer to the quarter inch line, and there's my hole. I'm going to line this up, put the needle into the hole, lower my pressure foot. You will notice that my plastic is inside my foot and I can't line the guide up there. So I'm just going to stick the guide out in front of the foot along the edge, like that. Once you've got your, your guide in place, raise your foot up again, take your needle out of the hole, and remove your template. And now I can put my quilt square down, and I can stitch. Now you will notice I have a long strip here. I want to top stitch, such as for my purse handles. I have put my guides down on either side so it stays nice and straight and I have it up near my foot here but now I want, would like to have it a little bit cold, closer to the foot or to the edge of the fabric and now I can move my needle over. Now I can top stitch and I will have a nice even consistent edge because my fabric is blocked between the two guides so I don't have a variance that I'm going wider and, and narrow, especially when I do a long strip. Now I'd like to do some top stitching in my circle and it's an outside curve and you'll notice I've got my guide in place where I want to do my stitching and now I'm just going to follow my fabric right along this curve edge of the template. Now you will need to stop every so often and pivot because you've got a curve and also too you do not want to stretch your fabric out of shape because you have a bias now. So don't be afraid to stop and pivot but keep your fabric right along your guide. Now I'd like to do an inside curve and I want to top stitch. You notice I have the other guide on where I have the curve it's facing down and now I'm going to follow my fabric right along the curve and as you go along, because I do not want to stretch it out of shape, because it's a bias, I might need to stop every so often and realign my edge. Now that you're done with your project, you'll notice it, because you'll be using this a lot, that with the sticky surface, that it will get filled up with lint and a little dust. To clean this, all you need to do is soak it in some lukewarm water and some dish soap and then rinse it off and then let it air dry. The stickiness will come back and it'll be nice and clean again. When you're all done using your project and you need to store it, 
after you're going to use the template as your storage, storage surface, you just stick it right on there. And now you can put it in your drawer and you've got it handy for your next project. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, click the like button or leave us a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and see these notions. And today I'm going to show you how to use the six, six in one stitch and Jeez, boy, that baby sticks. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, click the like bu button. Jeez, I can't say that too bad. <laughs>